Hi, and welcome to the ninth tutorial video of Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add professional graphics to your videos. So let's get started. To add graphics, simply click on the graphic tab from the top of the screen. On the right side, you will find some graphic presets that are given by the Premiere to add them to your videos. These are some lower thirds and openers which we can add. For example, I have downloaded these video clips. Let's check it out. And now, I want to add a graphic related to videos. So I have this one graphic in my collection related to weddings. I will simply drag and drop it into the program window, then we will edit it as we want to. Let's suppose I need this graphic only at the start few seconds where I have added blur. So I will drag this opener to the start of the video. Then I will trim or drag according to our needs. So we have this graphic on our timeline. We can edit this opener from the graphics tab, or we can edit it from the effects control panel. From both panels, we will get the same access and the same results. But I would suggest editing the graphics from the graphics panel. Because on the graphics tab, it's easy to edit. The reason is that we have a simple interface, and on the effects control panel, in the first few days it will be a bit complex for you. I am going to edit this from the graphics panel. To do so, simply select the graphic you want to edit. Currently, we have this graphic that's designed for wedding videos, therefore I am using it. I want to change its names, so on the graphics panel, we have an option of names, simply click on it. From here, we can change our text, let's say in the first name I want to use, Dively, so I will put my first name as Dively. From text properties, we can completely modify our text. From here, we can change our fonts. We have a lot of fonts that we can use. Let's say I want to use this one, I will simply select it. From here we can change our text style, like we can, use bold text, italic, bold italic, etc. We also have some more options here, like faux bold, faux italic, all caps, and small caps. We can use all these options to modify our text. These parameters are used for the moving of the specific text that we are currently editing. We learned in our previous class how these perimeters work. If we want to move or resize the complete graphic, then we can do it using a selection tool, or we can move it from the motion tab from the effects control panel. In the second name, I want to use James. So I will change it to James. I will change its fonts and style to match it with the first name. From the text tab, we can edit the small text that we have on our screen. Let's say I don't want to change the text. I just want to change the date and time. If you want to delete the text just leave it empty. I will change the date to 6 and in month, I want to use June, so let's type June and 2022. I don't want to change the font style, so I will keep it the same as it is. From the colors panel, we can change the color of the text and the color of the graphic. These settings will be different in each graphic because it depends on how the graphics are created by the designer and how much freedom of editing we have in the graphic. This was a very simple type of graphic that we edited. Because I just want to give you an idea of how graphics work. On each graphic, we will have a different interface for editing. But all graphics will work in the same way which we have learned. For example, I have another graphic here, if I drag it to my timeline you will see it's going out of frame. So we will simply decrease its scale from the effects control panel. Now to edit it. We will simply select it, and then we will click on the edit button from the graphic panel. Now you will notice that for this graphic we have a different interface for editing. But this will work in the same way as we did the last one. First of all, we have text 1 option. Text 1 is our main text of the graphic, and text 2 is the second and small text that we have. This is a lower third graphic that we use in videos for highlighting the main aims of the video. 
I will change my text 1 to dive Lee and James wedding highlights. And in text 2, I will use the date. We have four colors in this lower third. If I play the video, you will notice the text has a sky color, when the bar moves the color changes to white. I will change my first color to black. And then I will change my mask color to red. And I will also change the line color to red. For now, I don't want to change the colors of the second text. So I will keep it as it is. Our lower third is now changed. Remember, if we do changes in the graphics, it will be changed on the timeline and in the project only. In the graphics library, it will not be affected. We can use them unlimited times. Below the colors, we have some more options, like line stroke, line stroke increase, and decreased stroke of the line. Title zoom is used to zoom in and zoom out of the graphics. Currently, it's at 100%. If we want to increase more, we can do it from the effects control panel. Position width is the x-axis. And position height is the y-axis. Shadow scale increases and decreases shadow. We have a shadow on this text. If I change the shadow direction, you will notice it on the screen. Text 1 position x is the x-axis of the text 1 and similarly, the y is the y-axis. And the same is for text 2. In the next class, we will learn how to download graphics and transitions for Premiere. I hope you have learned how graphics work. I appreciate your watching. Thank you so much, have a nice day.